uh, consider that there is a given universal set. There is given universal set. Let us use another color so it can be emphasized. There is a color universal set. Again, the universal set is a set under consideration of a specific problem. For this problem, it contains the whole numbers from 1 to 8. Remember that in your module, when we say universal set, it is often represented by a re rectangle. Commonly. We may use other shapes, but commonly it is universal set. And let us label it with the U. Okay. Uh, let us just draw. Um, let us label universal set. This means that everything inside the rectangle are parts of the universal set. In this problem, whole numbers from 1 to 8 will be placed inside the rectangle. They are not to be placed outside. They, all of the numbers, whole numbers from one to eight, which are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, should be placed inside the rectangle, okay? Uh, numbers which are not one to eight, let's say nine, they are not part of the universe, so do, do not include them here. The next question here is where do we place numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight? Okay, so here is the consideration. The first given set concern is concerned on the elements 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we could just simply write here, okay, uh, oval shape or a circular shape, okay, which is part of the universal set, okay? Okay, why is it it's, we're going to place it in a circle? Because this is a, sing a set. Okay, if you're not going to place a circle, let's say that you're just going to say one, two, uh, two, three, four, just like that, you are not sure that they are grouped into one set. There should be a figure or shape that encloses them. Okay, so in this case, let us use an oval shape that will enclose them. Okay, and then the elements are one, two, three, and four, okay? Take note, this is set X. That's why I colored it green, okay? Para ma-differentiate po natin, okay? Colored green, set X. You have one, two, three, four. You also have here the elements one, two, and three, four. Arranging the elements here depends on you. As for me, okay na yan. Walang problema yan. Okay, but there are some revisions that may happen when you deal with the remaining sets. Okay, so let's proceed to set Y containing 2, 4, 6, and 8. Okay, so you could actually get here, right here again, yan, and then circle, and then you are going to place here the elements 2, 4, 6, sorry, 2, 4, 6 lang pala. 2, 4, 6. Yeah. You can simply do that. 2, 4, 6. So, lang problema. However, there is a big problem now. Take note that the universal set is still a set. It contains the elements of other uh, elements, the whole numbers from 1 to 8. And in that set, because it's still considered a set, make, take, take a note, huh? because this is always repeated in all the videos. Set are listing elements in, in a set, there should be no duplication of elements. As you can see in this uh, Venn diagram, premature Venn diagram that we have, you have the elements 1, 2, 3, 4 for the green or set Y, and you also have the elements 2, 4, 6 for the blue set. But when you examine the universal set, there are two twos and there are two fours. Sabi nga, no duplication here. This is the indication that the, uh, two, the elements 2 and 4 are shared by both sets. In short, they are connected. They are joined because there are elements that are common to both of them. So to make this answer better, okay, let us try to 
connect them. Uh, let's connect them. Okay, let's connect them. Okay, and let us try to analyze further. Okay, kasi nga, no duplication, we are going to remove 1, 2, and 1, 4. Okay, not 1, ha? isa ka 2, and isa ka 4. And where do you erase it? Okay, we are going to erase 2 here. Why? Because by writing 2 in this area, okay, means this is part of the blue circle, and this is also part of the green circle. This area here is both the area shared. This area here is the area shared by both circles. We are also going to place still four also here because four is shared by both sets. And erase the four here. Another problem here is leaving three in this area. Take note that three is only part of the green circle. If you're going to leave three here, that would mean that three is a part of a blue circle, which is incorrect. So to make it better, we are going to remove three and place it here so that this is only part of green. It's not part of the blue. Six, six, is part of set Y, the blue, the blue colored shape, not of green, not of X. So it's just, the, it, it remains there. Okay. So you already placed one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, and six. Okay. As for the next set, you have set Z containing seven and eight. So again, you just simply place here. Yeah. Again, make sure that they are enclosed in a, a figure because they are one set, seven and eight. As you have noticed in the previous given, in the green colored uh, oval representing set X, it doesn't have seven and eight. And in the blue colored, oval shape representing set Y, there is no seven and eight. So this set Z is a disjoint set, or, or if we're going to pair it with Y, the blue colored oval shape, or if you're going to pair it with X, the green color, the green colored oval shape, they are disjoint sets to compare as compared to set Z, the brown colored set. Okay, so it should not be co connected. And now, is it okay now? Tama na ba yan? Okay? So, there are no more sets here. So, you are now safe in saying na no more additional shapes or figures to be placed in universal set. The last thing you need to do is to go back to the universal set. The universal set contains the elements or the whole numbers from 1 to 8, which are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Looking back in your Venn diagram, you already have 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 6, 7, 8, but there's no 5. So where do we place 5? Five? 5 is a member of the universal set. So in short, it should be part of the rectangle shape inside, inside. But five is not a part of set X represented by the green oval shape. So five, so if I will say five, uh, let's color it with black. Five can't be placed here, cannot be placed here because five is not part of X. Five can't also be placed here because five is not part of set y how much more with here in the middle because here in the middle is part of both green representing x and blue representing y and definitely five cannot be placed here because in z it's only seven and eight so where do we place five place it inside the rectangle shape but not inside the oval shapes so you could place it here and 
or if you don't want to you could place it here or here ah sorry you could place it here sorry you could place it here or here or here 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 as long as it's inside the rectangular shape and not uh, and outside the oval shapes if you are going to place five here and place another five here don't do that because again in the universal set as a set no duplication you already placed two fives eh? so only place one this is the final set representing uh, practice exercise b this is a representation of the joint this joint universal sets including elements and non-elements understanding venn diagram will take much effort and take much time you should not hurry okay do it step by step just like in any pro mathematics problem but some of us could answer it immediately using mental math, but more, some of us were also follows the step-by-step -step process. So it works different ways. So again, I would suggest to work it step-by-step. -step. Use this video as your review before you work on your worksheets. Okay? In your worksheets, I believe it are, those are not letters. Those are not numbers anymore. Letters. But it works the same thing. Okay? Be excited for in answering and enjoy. That's all. Goodbye.